humans. One of the most peaceful and economy-based civilizations in the galaxy. It makes no sense, though. Firstly, the humans love to build massive militaristic fleets and train massive armies just to set on them. They claim that is for defense, but they have the largest battle-ready fleet in the galaxy. If that wasn't enough, the human's genetic code shows several indicators of aggressive tendencies literally built into their DNA. Most scientists have thus far accepted the human's own explanation of this. The humans claim that the massive fleet and the genetic indicators of aggression are simply fragments left over from their predatory past. This is indeed a reassuring thought. Originally, my thesis was actually going to be about the developmental patterns of human larvae and how they differ from human adults. However, after I noticed something that I believe to be quite significant, I changed the focus of my studies. Human larvae are actually very aggressive. Human larvae show the aggressive tendencies that you would expect according to their genetic pattern. Now, this doesn't mean anything specifically. However, it is an indicator that some event later on in the human's life deactivates this segment of their DNA. Either that, or it suppresses their aggressive tendencies. I decided that this was something that needed further study. We know that in some rare cases, humans became very aggressive. If we could find a way to suppress human aggressiveness more than it is already done naturally, it would make human accompaniments much safer to be around and to work with. This would be a major boon to our galaxy. Thus, I set out on a mission to discover this mysterious factor, and to my horror, I believe I have successfully found it. I understand that my language might be a bit unprofessional, and that this thesis might be quite opinionated. However, I still believe that this needs to be announced to the wider galaxy. They need to be warned. From an early age, I mean often times even before proper language patterns can be established with human larvae, they undergo a form of military training, and they do this by choice. Human larvae are often given the choice to play what humans refer to as simulation games. These games are well known throughout the galaxy. It could be said to be one of the humans' major exports. However, the games that human larvae tend to prefer are games depicting wartime simulations. Some are strategic-based simulations, in which the larva is given a situation where they control a fleet of ships, or even an entire empire, and must manage that empire to conquer the galaxy. Other simulations put humans in a tactical first-person battle simulation, where they are given weapons and equipment, and must fight on a simulated battlefield against other humans of a similar skill level to their own. Similar programs are used across the galaxy to train soldiers for military operations, and are known as some of the most rigorous training exercises among hardened veterans. There are many stories of veterans who hate going to their required training because of how difficult they are, even amongst the more aggressive species. However, human larvae are subjugated to these simulations by choice and from an extremely early age. That's not even the worst of it. As human larvae grow and develop, the difficulty level of these simulations increased dramatically. I witnessed a single human teenager single-handedly take on more than a dozen difficulty 10 rated AI and win, something that even a hardened Gorex warrior would find next to, if not completely impossible. Keep in mind, this human was not even of the minimum age to enter the human's military. This was not an extraordinary case either, this human was deemed below average in ability. When discussing the results with said human, they explained to me that AI challenges were not good enough to be a real challenge, even in seemingly impossible to overcome situations. They further explained that only other humans could offer a valid challenge to them. Keep in mind, again, that this human was deemed both below average in ability and too young to enter the human military. I was not given the opportunity to observe any actual human combatants at the simulation games. Humans perform just as well, sometimes even better and more strategic games. Some humans starting with a single cruiser-class ship in a galaxy of other races more than one Kardashev scale level above them. These humans could easily conquer the entire galaxy with this starting condition. 
In fact, their primary strategy was through the use of commerce and diplomacy, as the actual humans are doing now, and using war only as a defensive measure. One thing that caught my attention, however, was that in many of these simulations, when the human empire grew to a certain level of development above the other races, they would often declare war on the humans. After one declaration of war, the humans almost always switched from a diplomatic stance to an all-out war strategy. They would use their allies and weaken them through combat with their enemies, before the humans themselves would enter into battle. Again, many of these humans claim that these seemingly impossible challenges were too easy because of the AI, and that only other human competitors could stand a decent chance against them. And again, these are AI that's so advanced that even the most strategic minds in the galaxy, other than humans of course, could barely, if at all, compete with. I do not think that the humans should be feared. In fact, they found this method specifically to suppress their aggressive tendencies. However, I do feel that the galaxy should be warned. Any war against the humans would not only be a foolish endeavour, but would ultimately lead to immeasurable losses for the entire galaxy as a whole, and would only give the humans greater power than they already possess. To humans, war is only a tool to be used in politics, the same as their economy and everything else. Because to humans, war is literally built into their DNA, and for many humans it is a daily occurrence behind closed doors. It is a pastime that they enjoy, and a game that they play. And when it comes to war, the only ones who can even compete are not the galaxy's best, not the AI's best, but only other humans.